December of 2022 will forever be known as the month San Diego made it to the world stage among culinary elite. And we did it with a chef raised right here in Chula Vista. Only 142 restaurants in the world have been awarded three Michelin stars. And this week, with Chef William Bradley at the helm, San Diego's Addison Restaurant became a world-class dining destination. Chef William Bradley has headed the kitchen of Addison Restaurant in San Diego's Carmel Valley since 2006. Every detail of his nine course tasting menu, a well orchestrated plan. It's more like the Kaiseki style where you taste things that are very subtle and light and feminine, have great acid, light textures, very clean. And as you move into the menu, it starts to get a little bit more bold uh, within the flavors. With masterful control over technique, flavors, and textures, Bradley has done what no other Southern California chef and only 141 others in the world have ever done. On December 4th, Addison Restaurant was awarded three Michelin stars, the highest award in the culinary hemisphere. Bradley achieved the pinnacle in record time, receiving one, two, and three stars in less than four years, a feat that required a precision-like shift to raise his already acclaimed cuisine to a level even more unique. In the three-star three category, the best way to describe it is cuisine that you've never seen anywhere else. Um, you have to have food that's really yours. It's a sense of place, it's a signature. It's like a Monet. Depending when Monet was making that impression, you always knew it was a Monet. The purity of Bradley's cuisine shows a reverence to the ingredients of our region and our seasons, being described as California gastronomy. People travel from around the world just to come here to have your cuisine. It has to have a signature. And it all started as a child in San Diego's South Bay when his aunt gave him a cookbook. It has been an amazing journey. I mean, coming from Chula Vista and, and, and being born and raised here. And early on, he says his love for exquisite cooking became more than a passion. At this level, it's an obsession. It's a very healthy obsession that has a lot of balances. But to get to the highest level, you have to be obsessed. He says the feeling of reaching three-star status will never leave him. He's so happy for his team who shares the honor and helped put San Diego on the map. To get to this level, you have to bet, dream and dream big and surround yourself with people that are dreaming of the same dream. You know, when I first started, I, I looked to chefs like Alain Ducasse and Pierre Gagné and some of these three-star Michelin chefs in Europe that were so legendary. Um, they influenced me s along my path and to now say that we're, I'm amongst them as a three-star Michelin chef is beyond special. He has a mantra that hangs on the wall of the kitchen at Addison, all in, all the time. We commit ourselves to the standard. If we're all in, all the time, we can achieve our goals as a team, as the Navy SEALs do, as a unit. So it's a San Diego thing. He's grateful to all the renowned chefs who have influenced him and those who have helped in his journey, such as Thomas Keller of the Napa Valley's revered French Laundry. You realize you're on equal footing with Thomas Keller? Um, yes and no, <laughs> because he actually has two three-star Michelin restaurants. Ah. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I ask William Bradley, who has numerous other global awards as a master chef, why he stayed in San Diego. He said because he wasn't done. He wanted Addison, and by extension San Diego, to be known throughout the world as a destination for the finest cuisine in the world. And by bringing us the three-star status, many other chefs will now be drawn to San Diego, only growing our reputation as a mecca for the best food in the world.